and you even said, I think, in one of your newsletters that uh, the engineering sort of genetic dogma school of science uh, even thought that uh, memory was uh, a function of brain cells dying, like holes being punched in an IBM computer card, and that's how you, uh, they were postulating that that's how you remember things? Yeah. Um, if you look at the history of science from the wrong perspective, it looks like a big comedy that's so farcical that it's hard to believe. <laughs> but, well, but these are top-notch, mainline people with these stupid theories. Uh-huh. Well, I suppose if they're coming from a certain point of view, they've all been educated in universities, and they've all done probably very well there, and so they're probably trying to work within those parameters and come up with something and and I guess if you're looking at life from the perspective of, of as a machine um, that doesn't have any intelligence, then I suppose an IBM punch card is a good model. Yeah. Um, it, it all comes down to the, the culture that teaches us. It, it's been going on for 800 years or something like that in philosophy, teaching us that matter is stupid and uh, uh, inanimate has nothing to do with the guiding principle of spirit and life. Mm -hmm. uh, it, it's an invention that came out of a particular culture in uh, oh, sometime after the Renaissance. Uh, the, the doctrine of matter as some kind of a special uh, devilish material that uh, is has not, nothing of the life uh, properties or the spirit properties. It's just this uh, mortal, uh, essentially dead material. And uh, so the, the gene doctrine came in on top of uh, things like Descartes' doctrine of, of the mind running an inanimate machine. And uh, the whole idea that matter has its own tendencies and principles uh, was submerged under a doctrine that matter is essentially stupid and can only uh, follow randomness. Uh, mathematical randomness has to be invoked when matter is, is treated. And so it applies to the idea of nuclear fission. Mm -hmm. uh, there's some kind of a, a mathematical uh, oversight that governs the half-life of each uh, type of substance. And uh, people who uh, question that whole idea of matter have uh, done some experiments showing that even nuclear decay is context-sensitive. Uh, for example, I think it was uh, 1971 when uh, an experimenter used radioactive carbon in an oil form and found that the uh, decay rate was non-random when it was uh, made into a monolayer on a metal surface. And uh, that violated the, the whole doctrine of uh, inert matter following some kind of mathematical rules of randomness. Hmm. And so no one paid attention to it. Uh, lots of physical experiments uh, violate the rules, and so people ignore them uh, the way the genetics people ignored regeneration research, uh, cancer cures, and uh, it was only the genetic engineers and the cloning researchers that finally uh, opened up some space in the culture the genetic uh, engineers didn't want it to happen but uh, uh, giving Barbara McClintock the recognition mm -hmm. and finally accepting that Dolly really had been cloned even though for 50 years uh, they had been denying the possibility of cloning when people were doing it with frogs it uh, wasn't acceptable it, and uh, until finally could... they the culture is being opened up by their own wrong thinking. It has led them into a corner where they are forced to recognize that uh, something like a field 
sometimes is involved in biology.